Good morning, welcome back Sailing Review Rose. This is almost my last video in front of this. It is the 29th of June today, and I've just had a meeting with Mr. Lin, who just zipped past me. This boat is going in the water on the 4th of July. Happy Independence Day, Americans. I do take on board the criticisms that we get from a lot of people about, but this is like the, you know, it's like bloody Groundhog Day. You're always doing this, but literally this boat is being launched in under a week. This goes in the water. They then need to do the test, the engine test, and all the other bits and bobs that go with that to make sure that there are no issues, the major issues. They are then going to do a test sail to Vung Tao. Now, I'm not sure whether I'm going to be on that sail or not. They may not let me, and I'm fine with that. The boat is then going all the way to Thailand on a delivery trip and Teresa and I will meet her in Pattaya. So it is all, all, almost there. One week to go. One week, one week. Based on one week, I'm going to walk you around exactly what is going on here because it's really now final fit out. Final fit out. This whole area, the B&G stuff, nav desk complete. Season in. There's a lot of electronics guys working on this. Digital switching in there. I'm going to show you all this. And this guy, this guy here, there is a locker here. And that guy, what is that guy doing in that locker? What that guy is doing is actually installing another GPO. And that GPO is there so that we can put camera equipment in there, charge batteries in there and get everything else done. Also, first look, they've actually unveiled our television now. That television is on a hydraulic ram. And I've just ordered the components so that I can now get the television connected to the seven speaker hi-fi system so that should i want to watch bridget jones's diary again i have the ability to so let me just spin the camera around and show you exactly what's going on so here we are whole tv 43 inch tv on a carbon fiber hinge back there there is a whole ram that comes up lifts up and is controlled by here and also a separate remote through there, there'll be an HDMI lead that goes to in here, which will have other bits that we can play with, connect to a computer, etc., etc., and edit. Moving swiftly on, we have here head unit for the six speaker hi fi system, the pedestal for the table. James has now put the subwoofer in. And that's right under where we're going to sit but there's also a dedicated and these are little touches a dedicated fiberglass box there to make sure that the sound resonates properly thank you to everyone on patreon who gave us advice on that that is very very much appreciated all looking absolutely amazing so this is all really good the blinds are in the side blinds need to be installed around here and apparently our fridges have now been delivered from Italy and are awaiting customs clearance. This, different to the one on hole one, beautiful, beautiful induction hob. Like a beautiful induction hob. Induction and also gas burner jewel. Very, very, very sexy. Okay, I'm gonna tread very carefully. I need to get down into the master hull. There's a lot of things I wanna show you. But there is an army of guys and girls down there working so i'm going to try and tread very very carefully and not disturb them so follow me down okay come on okay so master master cabin it looks a bit like a dog's dinner in here but everything is just about complete so uh, i'm going to kind of run through a few things with you that we've talked about the walk-in wardrobe door to go on mirror to go in and this actually this is uh going to be well Probably a laundry basket. This cabin is almost complete. As I said, the upholstery has all been done. All these cupboards, cabinets, drawers, and etc., are all in place. This, very, very, very cool. Looking forward to having a workstation there. And then the GPO, the PowerPoints will go there. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, come on. Other things I want to note the panels are now integrated and single. So there's none of this that's not broken in any way. Nice. I love this. I love this. 
So let's take a look round to the starboard hull and, of course, our lovely workshop. Lots to show you there. That's going to be in a later episode because there is a lot to see there. But those dual articulating lights, the handholds, and they're still doing the wiring there. And obviously, we will have the mosquito screens, the light screens. But look, it's all looking absolutely phenomenal. The headboards need to go in. So all the upholstery, although it's made, still needs to be put into place. But the little buttons there, the lights, the fans, all come in together finally. And this cabinetry is different to the cabinetry in hole one, because as you now know, there is more space in the galley, which has been made by James. Looks amazing, absolutely amazing. Cockpit, let us run through all this. Under here, carbon fiber steering wheels. All the instrumentation in place, everything else in place here, it's all just about finished. And one final thing that we're doing, uh, the speakers, these two speakers will be flush mounted in the roof. So that is all very, very, very sexy, very sexy. Good morning, welcome back Sailing Ruby Rose. It is 7.23 in the morning. What in God's good name am I doing at 7.23 in the morning? Well, in two days time, our boat is being launched and at eight o'clock, these workers start work. So I wanna get on our boat and have a good look before Everyone starts today. So let's take a look in the master hall and see how this beautiful area of our boat looks. Now past that bookcase, we're not having a door on that because we've got some lovely books to show you, all our cruising guides. But yeah, moving down here, it's very, very wide. There is obviously all the upholstery still to go in, but now you can see the vanity unit that we've made there. And there is a shelving unit in place. Now, we did talk to James about this, and it has now been reduced in depth. That was a little bit too wide for us, but there's also some really nice LED lighting to go in there. But yeah, we actually had the depth of that change to about 100 millimeters, so that gives us a lot more functionality with our desk space. And as we pan around, we can see that the, the bed is all in place. The upholstery still needs to go in. The paneling needs to go in the blinds need to go in and those lovely kind of covers that go on in gray also just to make it aesthetically more beautiful but handrails there and again a door for our walk-in wardrobe we're getting there again the finished result will give you the wow factor but we just wanted to show you the boat at this particular point with all the carpentry finished so now there's not anything else to do it's just cleaned for upholstery mattress is going in the headboards are going in all the soft furnishes going in here, here, and here. And actually what they've done now is they've actually put this beautiful kind of fabric surround into this companionway, the, this whole entrance. It looks really, really damn nice. So really, really nice. Little finishing touches. And a quick turn into the starboard cabin. This is the seventh berth, which also with the lit up turns into a workshop with the bench, a vice, and all those other good things for work. Starboard hull, again, there is no upholstery in here, so it is just woodwork. There's a lot of finishing work to do, and as we spin back up those stairs, the double freezer there to go with our ice maker, to go with the fridge. So we have a dedicated ice maker in the cockpit for those ice cubes, for those cocktails for our patrons, as well as fridges, refrigeration, lots of good stuff all coming together. And finally, just a long, slow pan around this saloon, just to look at everything. Everything is covered up and there's little bits of reveal that go on here. But again, the headlining is now covered in plastic to stop it getting from dirty. There is the galley all covered up. Now this Corian is, it is absolutely stunning. I'm gonna give you a little heads up here. It is beautiful. So the Corian with that lip on it, it all looks absolutely superb. This boat really is going to have the wow factor that we have always wanted from our floating home. This boat will be wet in a week and that is going to be a milestone that we have all been waiting for since 2019. Looking forward to finally seeing this baby in the water soon. Next week I'll be back filming the launch of our boat I guess. And so join us next week. I cannot believe I'm about to tell you this. After three years, Ruby Rose 2 is going into the water. We finally get to unveil all the good stuff on board, drop her in the water, and very, very soon we are sailing again. Give us a like, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, because from here on in, you're going to get to see sailing.